Getting close to our Paleolithic ancestors has helped give Svante Perbo his moment in history. The Swedish geneticist was handed flowers and received congratulations from his colleagues at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany, after being named the 113th Nobel Prize winner in physiology or medicine in his hometown of Stockholm. My first thought was that this was a sophisticated joke by my colleagues, but then it sounded a little too convincing, so I accepted that it was true. It's particularly fulfilling because it started as a hobby, doing something I loved 30 years ago. And for a long time, this research was seen as a bit of a curiosity. And now I think it's really arrived as a serious research topic, with many different groups now working on it. Perbo is credited with transforming the study of human origins. He pioneered the examination of DNA sequences from archaeological and paleontological remains, to bridge the gap between ourselves as Homo sapiens and our extinct ancestors, the Neanderthals. Because of his discoveries, we're able to understand what makes us different and unique from these close relatives. Neanderthals were living in Europe over a half a million years ago. We, Homo sapiens, came out of Africa about 75,000 years ago. We mixed with Neanderthals in the Middle East. We now know that we Homo sapiens carry about 1 to 2 percent of DNA from Neanderthals. We know that from his work. Not content with bringing Neanderthals into the present, Perbo also discovered another, even older race, the Denisovans, thanks to DNA from a 40,000 year old bone found in a cave in Siberia. Perbo's discovery of the Denisovans then led to evidence that they had mixed with Neanderthals. Perbo was then able to show that there's a little bit of Denisovan in all of us as well. Perbo seems to be the beneficiary of good genes himself. His father, Sune Bergström, won a Nobel Prize in medicine in 1982. What this Swedish scientist passes on to the next generation is a better understanding of the generations that came a very long time before. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm.